Oh. Is it Tuesday yet? Is it Tuesday? What a view. And oh boy. Is this season going to be juicy? But first, we need to do something. That's better. What's going on guys and welcome back to the new season of Satisfactory. I'm super looking forward to getting started and we've already been playing and got multiple hours in the live stream where you can come and watch me build this playthrough live. So it's time to get underway with our brand new canvas and yes, we're a better place than to start than the desert with its glorious sand dunes, rich oars and of course a lot of open space. And I nearly forgot, yes, we have beans as well. So without further ado, let's crack off with this season with episode one and getting the fundamentals down and all of our basic needs. God damn it, give me a minute, Hog. Let me get everything set up first, all right? Jesus. Ooh, you're looking fancy. <laughs> all right, let's do this. And remember, guys, if you're enjoying the video, please remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just to leave a, an emoji just to help me fight against the algorithm. So keep smiling and let's do this. Okay, so I think we're going to start in this location. We've got a couple of iron nodes here. We've got a copper and then we've also got a limestone as well. You can just kind of just see it right there. So first things first, let's get our hub down. Let's remove the exclamation mark because as always, they want our attention. Remove these ones as well. And then we're going to hook up the limestone first. Actually, let's. there should be one just on the back side of this rock over here and it should be a pure node so let's where is it there it is just in the tippity top of it so let's put a miner down and then a constructor and then a storage bin connect them up with belts hook them up to a power cable and then bring that back over here and connect it to the biomass burners at the back of the hub Next, I want to do the same for the copper. So we need to remove this rock and then fight the hog, apparently. Come here. One more. One more. Go to sleep. Good boy. And then place the miner down and then the smelter and then the constructor and then the storage bin. Connect all them up with belts. The only thing difference now is we've got a smelter in there. And as you know, set that to copper ingots set that to wire and then get all these into a cable as well i don't know why i did did that we only need to wait yeah let's remove that one and then just attach that up to there and there we go bob's your uncle and now we can attach that up to that one and then we just need to do the same for these two iron right here and there we go just like that We've got our plate set up, our rod set up, our wire set up, and our limestone set up. Next, we just need to head north, and then under these trees and everything, we're just going to grab some of the leaves and some of the wood. And then we're just going to head back over to our hub, store some uh, wood in there so we've got some room, head into the crafting bench, and then just press spacebar and just let us handcraft some biomass. And then just head to the back of the hub and then just put our biomass into there into there and then power it on and hopefully that should be enough max consumption is 48 we've got a capacity of 40 oh so we are going to have a power cut here god damn it and the reason i say that is because max consumption is 48 so all of the machines are 48 megawatts and we've only got a capacity of 40 and it's only at 20 right now because the constructors have not kicked in yet so as soon as these ingots start coming down here same with over there these are going to power up and then suddenly we're going to have a power outage. So I think just for now, I'm going to disconnect the copper, power it back up. And the reason being is because max consumption is now 35, capacity is 40. We are underneath. It's just that we're not creating wire right now. But as you can see, we don't have, well, really any building materials to actually build any more biomass burners. So we need more plates, more rods and 25 wire. Maybe I should have turned the limestone off. So whilst these are underway and we are getting the plates and rods, this is a good time for a quick plug and just let you know that if you ever want to watch me do this live, come and check out my live stream. Link is in the description. But also, if you can't see them, go over to my second channel and you can see the full behind the scenes of how I actually make these episodes from start to finish, what I do, my thinking process and all that good stuff in case you want some more info. 
So links are in the description. And uh, yeah, go and give them a click, subscribe, or even give them a follow. All right, so now I've now connected the copper back up and running. As you can see, it's now what got power. And that's because now I'm able to afford two generators to put it inside of the hub, which now provides power. So if we look at our power thing right now, we can see we have a capacity of 100 megawatts and we're only consuming 57. So I think it's time to start unlocking some new stuff. And the only thing we're going to do is going to unlock the base building, which is going to give us the foundations and some walls and lookout towers and all that kind of stuff. So let's just send that off and do that. And then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to select the next milestone, which I want to get logistics up and running so we can get conveyor splitters, mergers, lifts and productivity display. Um, and we can select that one as well. But we have to wait one minute 47 because we need to wait for that to come back. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is just collect more wood, collect more leaves, and then I can create more biomass. Because technically there's nothing I can really do right now except wait for that to come back. So yeah, let's crack on with this, get more biomass, and we'll get the logistics done. So let's set off that, and then we've got logistics unlocked. And then what I think I want to do now is I think I want to start getting some foundations down a little bit so we can start, like, optimizing things. Because that's what we've got to do in a factory room, right? We've got to optimize, make more, then more, then make a nice looking factory, then make more stuff, and then more stuff. But we can't do that if it's looking like this, unless you let's game it out. And that's probably not going to happen in this series. Because even this slide right here is driving me nuts. Because look how steep it is. Even I can slide down this. Well, there we go. It's like a personal slide for me. <laughs> but anyway, let's remove this line here. So we're just going to grab this stuff, remove this slide and remove them. And then head up here. I think I've got to remove a belt here as well. I do. So let's just remove that. And then let's go into here, grab foundations. Now we can see we've got some new toys to play with. We're going to hold control. And as you can see, it is now snapping to the grid. And yes, I do have a world grid tutorial or a world grid explanation, which you can check out in the description below. Or you can click on this up here in the top right hand corner. And it'll take you directly to the video and explain to you what the world grid is. So I don't have to explain it right now. So I'm just going to put that down here and then add that like this. Did I just move that? Yeah, where the hell's that going? Just like that. And then I'm going to grab the miner and then just rotate that round. And then just zoop these because, you know, zoop. We need more zoop. Um, but what I, what I want to do is I want to do an underflooring. Um, I think I, I think maybe a three meter underflooring. What, what I mean by underflooring, for those that don't know, is just by getting a foundation like this and then grabbing a like that so then all the belts can go underneath here and then the machines can go on the top so i think what i'm going to do is grab the like um a one meter foundation here and take it that way and then maybe the the four meter underneath and take it to the ground level so it looks like we've got some supports i think that's what we might do okay so i've kind of extended this along here now we've got this second one up here um i've still not done the underflooring oh i can't even get up here now uh, but what I've just been thinking about, I'm thinking, is because we are super early on in the game, we want to unlock stuff in the awesome shop, and we don't have it yet. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we unlock the resource sink, go on a little hunt for, like, you know, stuff we're not going to use that's so heavy modular frames, mortars, stators, and all that kind of stuff, and just get some of them sunk. But what I might do as well is I might go over there to where the quartz is, just below that mountain, uh, and I might go over to the Caterium, which is just up there on that hill, and get it being made, but I might just get it sunk, um, but also unlock stuff in the MAM, because we've not got the MAM yet. So I, we might do that some uh, some of that stuff right now, I think. So let's go into here, and let's have a look at field research. There's the MAM. We do get the map now. I, do f I keep forgetting that in update 6. Uh, the exploration update, we can now get the map super early and you don't need to go down so many things. We have more, another hand slot as well and more inventory slots. We just need screws, which is going to be a pain. How many rods do I have? 
I got this, all this iron. Jeez. Oh, we can unlock the resource sink. Perfect. So let's get the awesome sink. Awesome shop. We get the color cartridges and the build gun upgrades. So we can customize. So that means we can then change the textures of some foundations. We can do some walls. We can paint and all that kind of stuff. So let's send off the resource sink. And balabing, balabosh, boom, Bob's your uncle. We have now got the awesome sink. So we can see that right here. But I need some more reinforced plates. So let's just handcraft a couple of these. All right, there we go. So now we can put the quartz down. So for those that don't know what the uh, the quartz down, the uh, the resource sink. So there's the resource sink. Here's the awesome shop. And then in here, for those that don't know, which I do get asked quite a bit, actually, on the live streams, is uh, what is the awesome shop? And this is it. This is, this is what it is. You can get conveyor holes, conveyor walls. And all you need to do is get coupons. And to get coupons, you just feed this with a belt with unwanted items you don't want. But later on, we can make this a little bit more automated so what you normally do right now early game is you'll get a storage container you're just going to flip this around like that bada bing put that into there and then just put any unwanted items so for example i can just put some leaves in there connect that up to a uh, a power line and we can see the leaves coming down wait i don't think the leaves are going to work i can't remember i don't think the leaves work oh they do so that's just going to get rid of the leaves and as you can see this goes down in points and the more rare the item, the more points it goes down. And once this goes to zero, you get one coupon. And when you get one coupon, yep, you guessed it. You can go into the awesome shop and purchase what you want. But there's an even quicker way, and that's all you need to do is look for a drop pod. And a drop pod are basically these, and they will have some scattered items around. So I'll just grab some of these and try to ignore the spitter and just grab as many items as I can. Actually, some reinforced plates that I can actually do with them. And, uh, yeah, now we can actually... Actually, I think this one's free. Let me go and check. So we just go up to this. Uh, oh, it is free. So, yeah, this one's free. Well, hello. There we go. Now we can get our hard drive and we can search our first things. No, you go away. Go away. Oh, but I also forgot that what I'm going to be doing with this save is I'm going to be using unlimited power shards and I'm also going to be uh, spawning the hard drives in over on the live streams, which will take me... Uh, it, it, it's basically, I can just pull them in. It saves me just going around and exploring for four hours where I could be working on one of these episodes. So hopefully you understand. And that's the reason I'll be spawning the hard drives in. Um, I still will be searching them. I'll still be scanning them and all that kind of stuff. Don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to select what items I want to unlock and all that kind of stuff. Because uh, you can't do that, I don't think. Unless you've got to go to the satisfactory calculator. and it, It's a whole kerfuffle. Um, but yeah, you can watch me do it all on the live stream. You can see me all doing it legitimately. So uh, yeah. Um, right, next up. Now I've got some of these items. Let's put them in there. Let's put the frames in there. And now we can see the mortars coming down into the awesome, sh uh, awesome sink. And then we should see this jump down by a lot. So you ready? Boom. Look at these coupons going up. And yes, by the way, every time this goes to zero, it does reset with a higher number. So don't think it's going to be this easy, like, later game. But yeah, good amount of coupons and uh, time to spend some. But I don't know what to just get you just yet. But what I want to do first is I want to set up the quartz uh, bit over there. And I want to start sinking the, uh, the quartz. All right, so the quartz is just over here. I keep forgetting... Uh, this water um, pressurizer spots here as well. So this is actually used for a pressurizer, which we can find in tier five and six. Oh God, we got two big boys here. Two bloody big boys. Hello, friends. Oh God, I might, I might want to use my basher. But to be honest, it's, you don't die as much, uh, I've noticed in uh, in update six because they've added the regenerative, uh, regenerative, regenerative, what are my English bits, hello? Uh, you actually regenerate your health a lot quicker. Um, and you actually go to full now. You don't just go to three. Um, to three blocks anymore, like we used to. We actually go to full. So, you don't really die as much. There's not really much of a threat. Come here. All right. Um, right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to need an equipment workshop. Hello. Equipment workshop. And then we're going to need to get ourselves a portable miner. And then, oh, I need to bring power over here. God, why did I not bring the power in the first place? God damn it. Right, bring that over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Power acquired. Now I need, did I make the, I think I did right, I did. Um, right, produ oh, hello. Uh, production, uh, mark one, place you down there. Get myself a constructor. It doesn't need to get smelted. Place you in there. And then, 
Oh my god, I need... God damn it. We need the, uh, the mam. We need the mam bits. So we need to go back to the hub and unlock the mam. And I've got screws now, I'm like, yeah. Okay, back to the mam. And this will be the second trip back over there. God damn it. Maybe I should plan this a bit more... Um, a little bit better. A little bit more organized than it needs to be, Bitsy. Okay, field research. Select milestone. Put you in there, put you in there, put you in there. And send. So how many, re how many milestones have we done this round? I think we've done like three, four. Tier 1, base building, logistics, field research, and resourcing. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, we still got all that in there as well. Um, how are we for power? Are we even making anything? Oh, yeah, we're power's on. How are you guys doing? You okay? You okay? 96. 96. Let's, let's, let's throw 99 in there. Let's throw 99 in there. Perfect. Okay. Right. Now, <clears throat> back to the quartz. And now we can put down our mam... And then, oh, we need uh, we need quartz. Can I have some quartz, please? Thank you. We're going to our quartz branch. Unlock quartz because you need quartz. Start that research. And then what I want to get to is I want to unlock you, which we're going to need more of you of. Uh, we should also unlock silica as well, which we can. So we've unlocked the quartz crystals, unlock silica, and there is our uh, blade runners. And we need, oh, we need 10 frames. <gasps> Oh my god, why did I throw the frames? <laughs> anyway, let's just put that to quartz crystals. Let's just grab our awesome sink. Throw you down there. Connect you up to there. And then connect that up to that power line. Where is it? There it is. Uh, oh, maybe we should add you as well. So now you should be making quartz crystals. And you're just going to get sunk straight away. And just to earn me points. Now, I think I'm going to do the same with the Caterium. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so as you can see, I've been a little bit busy. I've got like a little plate line set up. I don't need to explain all this to you. If you are new, I would highly recommend checking out the Satisfactory Season 1, um, where I go through how to set all these kind of stuff up in detail. Uh, but as you can see, the underfloor in here, I've unlocked the uh, wall outlets, and I've unlocked the... Um, the, the lift holes in the awesome shop with the coupons that we've been creating. Uh, and yeah, so we've just run out of power as well. Um, so we've got the miner coming in here. It's being split into two, um, two lifts, which go upstairs and go directly into the smelter. Because as, as you know, um, one normal uh, node of iron sends out 60, 30 is going into there and so on. It then outputs onto the lift this side and then goes along a belt, which then feeds into these two constructors. As you know, again, one to one ratio, one smelter to one constructor. Uh, that goes into there and then the output just goes into storage. So it's a little simple setup. I do need to get the power back up. But what I want to do now as well is I want to look at setting up the rods in this area and then going to sync the caterium and getting that set up because I do want to kind of unlock blade runners. Okay, so I've just put more biomass burners down, and that's because now I've added the rod line. And as you know, it's a very, very simple setup. It's literally a one to two ratio. So for every one smelter, it's two uh, constructors for the rods, because as you know, 15 ingots go into 15 rods. These smelters make 30 uh, ingots, uh, which make 15 uh, in here and 15 there, and then another 15 go into there, and so on and so forth. You get the drift. You get the drift. We've also done the same underneath as well. Um, so the smelters are outputting the ingots here, and then the in inputs are going through the floor here with the lifts, and so on and so forth. And at the end, the outputs of the constructors are being merged together and then being sent along this line at 60 per minute, going into this lift, which then goes into a storage just here, which now we have rods and plates being done. Right, so I've just quickly put down a miner, a smelter, and a constructor here at the, the Caterium. We can see the, you know, the Caterium, uh, well, our base over there. Um, this is the mountain I was talking about. So I'll just kind of set that up. We need to pull some um, Caterium out of there. So then we can go into the MAM, go into here, and then start working on some stuff and unlocking Caterium stuff. Um, I originally started working on this and then realized that um, what's it called is not here anymore. The uh, the Blade Runners, because it's actually in the uh, Quartz branch now. Uh, because Caterium is being way overused, and I 100% agree with the decision that the devs uh, made. Uh, so now we can just put that Caterium in. Got um, so I need... How many do I need to unlock some stuff in here? 
Uh, I need 50 of the Caterium ingots. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, so, yeah, like, the Blade Runners are here now. We've got some we've got some frames. I quickly did them by hand. Can we unlock you? No, we need silica. Actually, I should really change the recipe for the quartz over there to silica, which I've got being sunk right now, which I'm actually going to go and do. And by the time I've done that, that should have 50 Caterium ingots. So let's go and do that and keep ourselves a little busy. Okay, so then what I want to do here is I want to change the recipe. So I want to put you to silica. I want to remove the sink now. Um, and then I want to put down a storage bin, which I'm going to give a little bit of room for here. Um, yeah, I don't have any smart splitters, which I probably will unlock at some point in this episode. Uh, and then I just put them straight into there. Uh, and now we can get silica bin in there. And now... I'm going to run all the way back over there and get the Caterium done while that fills up. And then we can come back here again and then work on that. And then unlock the Blade Runners. And then we can go and make them. So cool. All right. So let's go into the Caterium. Unlock you. Get that done. So now we've just unlocked the Quick Wire, which we'll be able to utilize for Mark II power poles and everything later on. Now, time to juggle again and go back to the Quartz. And then hopefully the Silica is ready for me this time. Oh, and back again. Right. Now, hopefully we've got enough. Uh, okay, that's very, more than enough. Let's go back into the mum again. And then we want to go into uh, Quartz. And we want to unlock Blade Runners. Get them unlocked. And then I should be able to un unlock the... Uh, what's it called here as well? Uh, inventory slots. So, more inventory slots. More space. A lot better for me to run around again. <laughs> All right. With that being done... Um, Time for the next thing, which is actually the Blade Runners. I actually need three rotors. Can I handcraft? Oh, can I handcraft three rotors before I move on? Uh, oh, no, we need the project's assembly part. So we need to go to the hub. Oh, my God. Right. Now we're back at the hub. I'm just running everywhere right now. I'm like a bloody maniac. Um, now we need parts assembly, which we need, which we have everything. We can unlock rotors then. Let's get that done. Let's get this sent off. Project assembly part. Bada bing, bada bosh. Now we can go into oh, the in here and we should be able to make three rotors. <gasps> Bang on three rotors. Bloody perfect. Um, and then once we've got that, we can now go into our special, no, sorry, production equipment workshop. And now we can unlock the Blade Runners. Thank God for that. Now we can start zooming around and zipping and jumping further and climbing further or whatever but yep we now have blade runners okay so as you can see we are now out of power but also we've done a little bit of extending we have now got some constructors and these constructors right here are casted screws so because we have unlocked the casted screw recipe and that was with the hard drive right there and you can see that live on stream or if you wanted to you could go over to the um the vod channel and you can see everything over there on how we kind of did a bit of this setup it's very very simple i kind of want to get the simple stuff out of the way and start moving on to more of the advanced stuff uh, a little bit quicker um so what we're doing is right here you can see everything just coming out from underneath and all going onto the underflooring uh this is why i use underflooring a lot um but what i've done is i've had to bring over the iron from uh, that location here and we put it onto these kind of stilts like this uh, and just bringing the iron along here which now connects up to the there so very very simple um and we're just doing the underpowering as well from there we have got we have out of power and we have been extending it i've not had extended that in a while have i no i'm still on the same amount of i might need to put more biomass burners down so yeah with that being done now and we have a project assembly parts i think what i'm gonna do is maybe extend the underfloor in here and then bring it down by another three meters, giving us a uh, six meter gap. So as you can see, one, two, three, that's a three meter gap. Uh, so if we bring it down by three more, that's going to give us a six meter, which should allow us to have the assemblers uh, on top here. Um, and then we can start feeding the screws because as you know, with rotors, if I just pull up an assembler here, um, Oh, God, I don't have the rotors. I hate it. I, I need to make rotors. Oh, my God. All right. Let me go and hand cross some rotors. Give me rotors. Three, four, five, six. So, yeah, as I was saying, 
If we put that on the assembler, we can see that one rotor requires 100 screws and one constructor is, is providing uh, 50. So we only need to put two constructors for that. And then for reinforced iron plates, we just need 60, which is simple enough and 30 iron plates. Um, so it's a very, very simple setup, very easy numbers to play with. Uh, so all I need to do now is just extend this foundation out this way um, and then yeah, put the underflooring down by another three meters and then start looking at where we want to put the logistics underneath the flooring because we are going to have to do some uh, overlapping of belts and all that kind of stuff. So let's crack on with that. You know what? We actually have a bit of a problem. Um we got no stuff for power. I'm actually going to unlock um, obstacle clearing and get the chainsaw and get solid biofuel so we can, you know, put some a, a lot better fuel in there. Uh, so let's unlock that. Add you in there, add you in there, and then send that off. And then that is that good. Now we just need to unlock the chainsaw, which should be in the equipment workshop. And one chainsaw. And then we're just going to need a little bit of fuel. Uh, oh, I don't even... How, do I have any biomass? I have zero biomass. Do I... Have you got any spur? No. Oh, you got 67. Okay, so that means I can quickly make some solid biomass. Solid biomass. And then, once we've done that, we can start chopping some things down a little quicker. And then I can just put the solid biofuel in there and then turn everything back on. And then, what is our consumption? Max consumption is only 133. Capacity 160. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so as you can see, I've done a little bit of work with the logistics underneath. Um, because, as you know, the screws needed for rotors is 100. And for the reinforced plates, it's uh, 60. So, uh, what my plan of action is here is, as you can see, up the top, just here, we have two lines merging into one which is going across this belt here, which is only a Mark 1 for now. I will upgrade this to a Mark 2 and this lift and that, so that could, could hold the capacity of 100 screws, because right now it can only hold 60. And then here, what we're doing is I've got a splitter, which is splitting off the 50 here, which is sending uh, 25 that way, merging with the 50 here, which is creating a 60 line. And that's all we need. This line's going to get backed up, which is fine. It only needs to feed 10 onto that line. So it creates 60 for the reinforced plate. And then if we go upstairs, all the thing we need to do up here is just literally line these up with the holes here like that. Um, maybe I could push it back further one, maybe. Uh, maybe we put it to... No, you know what? Let's put it there. Let's put it there. And then we'll put the second one here. And then I'm just going to get um, Mark 1 lifts. I will upgrade these, obviously, to Mark 2, which is for the screws. Um, and then, oh, hello. Put you into there. So that's then rods going into that side. And then that's going to be screws and plates. And then in here, what we need to do is set this one to reinforce plates. And then, then set this one to rotors. And then we're going to power these from underneath. So I'm just going to come down here, grab that power line, and bring that onto here. So with part of update six, you can actually grab the wall outlet now and then look at the line. You can see the line glow and then you can click that there just like that. And it'll actually attach a line and like break it up for you. It's super simple and it's uh, super convenient. So let's put that onto there and then let's connect you onto that one. Let's power them. And we can see now that the rods are moving up there. And now I just need to find a way. I need to make an easier way to get up, to be honest. I'm just kind of ooh, jumping onto there. And then jumping up to here, like so. And now we have uh, reinforced plates being made. And we also have rotors. So we have a little bit of a problem. Um, because of the purity of the nodes we're using, we only can make a maximum of uh, five reinforced plates per minute. Because we, we can't keep up with the demand of plates if we put down a second one. Um, because we just can't. So... What I'm going to do is, because smart plating, as you know, requires uh, two reinforced plates and two rotors, and frames are needed for three reinforced plates. And the problem, as you can see, if you, if you, if you can already tell, is three plus two is five. That's producing five. And if we want to make any Mark II belts, 
we need reinforced plates. So we're not going to have any left over. So what I'm going to do for now, I think I'm just going to let them build up. But before I leave this running, I actually need to put some storage down on either side, right? That would help a lot. Otherwise, I'm only going to be storing what's in the machine. So let's get the reinforced plates running into there. And I've noticed as well, I've just quickly run out of power. So ugh, bloody biomass. Cannot wait for coal. Actually, speaking of coal, we're getting pretty close to it. And what I should really do is there's a copper node over here. Right there, you can just see it. And I'm thinking we quickly just set up copper plates because we're going to need it for pipes, aren't we? It means I'll get copper sheets. And if I get copper sheets, I will then be able to unlock AI limiters, right? Which means I need quickwire. I have quickwire, which means I can quickly grab some of that, go into the MAM, unlock uh, you, three seconds, one, and bada bing, bada bosh. Uh, AI limiters, there we go. So yeah, I need 50 copper sheets. So back over to where I was going, and let's quickly make some copper sheets, get AI, 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 AI limiters unlocked, and then unlock smart splitters, which then we can start to uh, kind of finalize some of our builds. But we can't really do that yet because I want to make sure that we put them on some... Uh, we make some setups where we actually uh, are going to be keeping for a little bit because mainly we want to aim for pure nodes, right? So uh, let's go and do the copper. So let's quickly put a miner down. Then we're going to put down a smelter. And then I'm going to quickly put down a constructor. And then guess what? A storage container. Line them up. I don't want to put this down yet because it's an impure line. It's going to take a while for this to be made. I don't want to put this on a foundation and keep anything clean. Uh, we're on episode one, right? This is episode one. We've got a long journey to go. So let's just hook this up to the uh, power line, which we have there. Oh, there we go. Connect that up. And then you are now... Oh, God, we're out of power. Right? God damn it. Copper ingots. Uh, copper sheets, let that run, quickly fix the power, and then Bob's your uncle. Okay, so after fixing the power, I've now got copper sheets running. So now I've just got to wait for 50 of these to be done, so I can then unlock AI limiters. Grab them, and then... So now I should be able to... Where is it? There it is. Bada bing, bada bosh. AI limiters. Perfect. So now we can start doing... Uh, smart splitters right so there there we need 10 smart splitters at uh, 10 ai limiters and reinforced iron plates the reinforced iron plates are being automated but can i make uh, some ai limiters i can make one i'm gonna need more copper sheets can you can you hurry up please i know you're an impure but like can you speed up so i can get 10 of these please pretty please all right smart splitters Start research. We've finally done it. Man research complete. We have now got smart splitters. So if we're going to logistics, smart splitters, bada bing, bada bosh. And the UI's changed for these. I don't I don't know if you know this, but they've actually changed. I'm hoping for one day for us to have like a ratio split. So I would like two plates to go down this side to every one plate going down that side and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So with all that out the way, we've now got our starter factory. We've got some Caterium up. We've got some things going. We've got quite a bit done, if I'm going to be honest with you. So, guys, uh, check out my other content right here if you're interested in seeing that. And uh, also come and check me out over on Twitch if you want to see me how I do this or if you want to see how I do this as well. If you can't catch the live streams, check out my second YouTube channel. Links are in the description. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep smiling and bye-bye.